Hi everybody, my name is Juan Antonio. I am a professional makeup artist here in New York City. Today, I wanted to make a video to hopefully inspire you guys. I wanted to share something so exciting that I just got in the mail and um, it's changed my life and I hope that it has the same effect on other people as well. During these times, it's all about being clean and being sanitary and that includes your clothing and um, in New York City specifically, we have a very, very challenging time doing laundry. I'm just kind of over the whole laundry situation. My neighborhood decided to close all of the laundry mats. Well, either you have a washer dryer hookup, and there's not too many apartments that uh, have a washer dryer hookup. You have a laundry downstairs in your basement, usually about two washers, two dryers that you have to share with the entire building, or you have it picked up and somebody else is doing your laundry, or you have to go and get your laundry done yourself. You have two days off the week, it takes up one of those days. So it is a lot of work. I mean, imagine you doing, doing your comforters, your sheets, your clothes. I wash my dog's bed. Um, sometimes I wash my pillows, so it's it's a lot back and forth um, and I've been living in New York for over 10 years. It is so terrible. People here have to literally just take all their stuff to a laundromat and share these machines with basically the neighborhood. There's nothing wrong with that, but I think in a time like this you start to think like, wow, you start to get a little paranoid and you want to make sure that you're extra cautious and extra clean and um, not using other people's things. This is an essential item in the household. Like I feel everybody should have access to a, a washer dryer, especially during these times. You know, you want to be extra clean. And also, it doesn't make sense. I mean, they're closing all the laundry mats. They leave a few open, so more people are going to them, more people are gathering, and they're ignoring social distancing. So it's really unfair for those people like myself who don't have access to a washer or dryer. So having said that, I want you guys to check out this amazing washing machine. It's called the Giantex Cosway portable washing machine and it is a lifesaver. It is about 33 pounds. I live in a studio apartment so my uh, my space is very tight, very small. It is really really good for people that have small apartments, uh, dorm rooms, pool houses, the hospital. I was thinking that it would be really good for these uh, nurses and doctors to just throw in their scrubs in there right after they're done. You know, I think it would be really helpful for that as well. Leave comments, let me know uh, your feedback. I just wanna know what you guys think. I love the machine and I would recommend this to anyone. Opening up my new portable washing machine by Costway. Here I am filling up the machine. I hooked up this little tube to my sink, my bathroom sink and I bought a turkey baster. It's super easy, all you gotta do is slice it on the top and it goes right in. This machine is run on gravity, um, so I have the tube coming from my sink. Um, it actually has an inlet for the water, but I find this to be easier. A little bit of soap. If you put too much soap, it will actually be really hard to take off of your clothes. A little soap is suffice. I like to throw in some big stuff, some little things, just kind of mix it up. Don't put too much in it. Um, otherwise, the machine will have a hard time uh, oscillating. So just make sure you don't put too much. This right here is the lint catcher. You could actually put more water. Um, there is a limit, but I find this to be enough. My favorite thing about this machine is the strength. It's very strong. It's all done. I just wanted you guys to see how much dirt is in this water. It's crazy. Now we're gonna switch the knob so the machine can drain.
I placed a towel under the machine to reduce the sound. Now we're gonna rinse the clothes. It's important before you start to fill up the washing machine to make sure that the machine is on normal and not on drain. If it's on drain, obviously it's gonna continue to drain from the bottom. In this case, I'm not gonna fill up the whole washing machine just to rinse the clothes. I think this is enough. It's amazing to see how much dirt still comes off of these clothes. Look at that, wow. While you're using the spinner, don't be alarmed if you smell a slight burning smell. It's actually just the motor. This is completely normal. Now we're gonna go ahead and use the spinner side. It's important not to overfill. I believe it only takes six pounds while the washing machine takes 11. Use this plastic flat piece to squish everything down and that's it. Take it right to one full cycle. The great thing about the spinner side is that it's always on drain no matter what. Also, if you open the top, it automatically stops. It's amazing. So let's see how dry these clothes are. I put it for five minutes. It's pretty dry. I mean, there's some like wet areas, but honestly, it's like 90% dry. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but with white clothes, and I'm going to be using bleach and detergent. The spinner's actually making that sound. It's not as loud as it seems in video. All done with my wipes, now it's time to drain this yucky water. When you're all done, make sure to prop it up on something a little bit higher so that it continues to drain. Remember, it works on gravity. Also, leave the tops open so that everything dries up. And honestly guys, this is a 10. I love this machine.